people would be crazy. Who? Oh. Hi. Sorry. Lady Inspired. Fight. late I just did a video and it's gonna be great but I'm about to wash my face and the most important part about washing my face and taking off my makeup in my opinion right now is my lashes right now I usually just wear the 399 lashes these ones let me there are some that I have not worn yet so trying to arrange those so they don't look too crazy because I have worn so many so so anyways in order to take my lashes off and maintain both my lashes and those lashes you just need three things make really just two and that is micellar water and con ball or a q-tip whichever you prefer let's get started I'm gonna start off by just putting my hair behind This cute and this is what is left of my micellar water and then um, what's inside the micellar water is water and I believe it's just the mineral water really and that mineral water has oil so that oil can lubricate the glue to release your lashes because you don't want to just pull them off oh my god Oh my gosh, what a big fail. Ugh. Oh my god. When will the madness end? <clears throat> I would like to apologize if there is any cotton in my lips. So I got my cotton ball that has lip gloss on it. Let's do this. Okay. And then also, I use the original lash container. I used to have a lash book, you know, from uh, Violet Voss or House of Lashes. One of those. I did have one of those at one point, but uh, it's gone. It's gone. Like, I remember hot gluing it back together. I had it for maybe about two or three years, not too long. And then I'm just rubbing this in. You want to like push it into the lash so that you are saturating it. And then yeah, sometimes sometimes I do have to wash my oh, it slipped right off. Look at that. Sometimes I do have to wash the lash or oh my gosh. So sorry, off topic. This lash already has some issues going on sorry there's a lot of glue that's not cute but it does have some issues going on there so this little lump gosh that is so gross so basically there's some thread that's off the track and i just put it back in place with glue i even cut my lash in half one time and i just glued one half on and glued the other half back on things happen but basically there's no glue on my eye and my lashes are still here. I don't see any. Oh my gosh, this is just so gross. I need to just clean these lashes. Also, this is important in my video because this is how you maintain lashes. Not just your lashes, but keeping these lashes good. Like, I can tell you now, I have probably worn these lashes more than three times. I usually get about three to four or more wears out of lashes. I never ever ever wear lashes once and call it a day. I know I wore the same pair of lashes one entire weekend in Vegas and I was just fine. I didn't wear it to pool parties so <laughs> No. 
So I'm just gonna put these back in here so they can keep their shape, of course. So then when I actually do want to wash them, I can, I know where to find them. Just gonna do the same thing for the other ones. I, I think you're supposed to shake this first, but. And I'm just rubbing it. And then also, when I put my lashes on, I, well, like most people, I sit them on top of my lash line because I have mascara on. So it's like easier for them to like grip onto it. So it does help if you kind of rub up or if you just like press against it, you know, like this. Don't want you to hurt yourself. I just want you to. And yeah, just tug at it lightly. And if it does not start like coming off, then you can grab the Q-tip so you can target certain areas. Like for a long time when I first started wearing lashes, my inner corners, I didn't understand it. I, I, yeah, basically with my inner corners, I'd always have to go back and just, oh my gosh, it'll be the most complicated thing ever. Oh, it came off. You'll just have to hear that story later. But yep, that one's coming off. And then also the glue does slip. It usually slips right off. I'm not about to pick at this because, oh yes, don't sit and pick at it. Because if you want, if you plan on keeping these lashes, don't sit and pick at it because that's when that band thread comes loose like that other lash. And then that's when you gotta start doctoring it up instead of just getting cute and putting it on. So that's the end of my video. Um, I am about to wash my face. I don't use any special face washers or cleansers or anything right now, and I have a moisturizer. I am working on that because y'all see in my videos all that. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm just about to wash my face with black soap and moisturize it with shea butter. Do I have shea butter still? Yes, yes, yes. Just gonna moisturize my face with some shea butter. And then also, this is how I keep my hair for the next day. I'm just gonna show you guys because this is day, this is day three girls. This, day three. I'll show you real quick. I use abnormal size ponytail holders because I have thick hair, but I do double them. So let's show you first. Just put my hair down the middle. Look, you see my hair is ready. Like it takes that form immediately because that's how I go to sleep. And then I make sure all my hair is inside of it. And here I go. If you was in my third or fourth grade class, you remember on Halloween, yeah, it was fourth grade on Halloween. I was that cheerleader. And I was leading the drum line with the, my hair was just like this. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. But yeah. Good night. And don't forget to subscribe so you can see what I'm up to. I'm about to start making playlists too. So you can just binge. We all binge watch. We're American. Hey guys, it's the Saturday before Mother's Day and I'm not quarantining. I am enjoying the beautiful Portland waterfront with a bunch of other people, not social distancing, but take advantage of going outside because staying in a house is not good for you.